Hi, I'm Tim from Redback Lasers and I just want to go over the fence alignment kit uh, as set up with the EGL 624 GM. So with that kit there, we've got the laser offset bracket. So as I said, that is set up for the EGL series of lasers. It's got two scope alignment black brackets on there. One, if we're wanting to set that scope up as an offset from the laser. The second one is if we're wanting to set our scope up in line with our laser. I would recommend generally always using it with the offset. We've also got a cross on that setup there, so that scope, so we obviously get the scope with it. Our scope can go parallel with the laser or now at right angles, so we can actually pick up an existing fence line and shoot a right angle fence. So it makes it easy to set up your right angle fencing. As you see, that, um, that scope magnetizes and pivots so we can look up and down a fence line quite easily on that bracket. Alrighty. Then we have the laser offset bracket. So the laser offset bracket the, is designed to house the, um, the scope bracket and we can set that up there where we're rotating off th that point. So if our vertical plumb is directly over our laser or at our offset point, if we're trying to set our, um, our laser at an offset and we want to rotate off from that point. With that rotation plate, we've got the ability to find or to a course adjust it, then lock that in and then do a fine tune adjustment as we're looking through the scope to sight our strainer post in the distance. All right, we can set that at two positions. We've got there or at the end. And it's always a good idea to set that bracket so that you have access to your, your knobs um, when you're actually using your bracket. So that your, your um, situation will determine where the best layout for that is. That then is designed to be attached to that block. That block is screwed onto your tripod and that's what gives us full adjustment to make sure our plumb point is directly over our strainer post so we can actually get our fence set up exactly where we want to start from and that's what gives us a nice bit of flexibility in setting up that laser in the first place. We can also not use the tripod we've got another bracket in here um, which we can clamp that bracket directly onto our strainer post, whether we've got steel strainer posts or, or tech screw it into a timber strainer post. It now allows us, we actually put it that way, and now allows us to screw that bracket directly onto the top of our post, get our adjustment, make sure we've got our plumb point over the center of our post, and away we go again. So it, it stops us having to use our um, tripod on site. The other thing that we've got there, I'll put that aside, is our receiver offset bracket. So we're setting up our laser as an offset to the scope. We can then set our receiver up to match that. So we're going to actually align with our staff and put our receiver locked in here for a standard offset. We have got the ability to do a really wide offset with the EGL 624 GM if we fix our receiver here. Um, the third hole there is designed for the DGL 1010 GM if we're looking at the DGL 1010 GM laser. The other thing we can do is we can um, set our receiver across and if we're actually shooting our laser in line with our scope and then we've got another bracket there so we can go along and just mark straight onto the ground, straight in line with our receiver. We can put that um, there with our offset and whether it be marking then on the ground, that'll go the other way, so it is epidextrous, um, operating that receiver just as it is. The bracket I showed you before, that's to be bolted onto the top of your staff, so that means now we can actually put our receiver on the top of our staff. If we're working down in a dip, we can put our spirit vial on the back of the staff, we can hear our receiver and transfer our point when we can't even see our laser, so we can get that vertical alignment all the way through. So really that covers all the components of that fence alignment kit. So we'll set up the EGL 624 GM and get a fence underway.